Hey you guys, um, I know I wasn't gonna upload a video for a few weeks, but this one is, uh, this is pretty important. Um, so this is the note I got on my door when I showed up yesterday home. Check this out. Paul, Dylan had a dog killed by wolves this morning on the power lines, 0.96 of a mile from your house. Get a hold of us. Um, we will show you where it's at. So I came home yesterday and found this on my door. Boy, that sucks. Friend of mine, Dylan McPhee. Say hi, Dylan. How's it going? He is a hound hunter. And um, so we are, he was up here hound hunting um, yesterday morning. Um, and I actually heard his hounds on a cat from my place. Um, my place is about, what is it, 9.6 miles from this spot. And uh, he had, uh, they're running a cat, a lion, and um, the wolves caught up with his dogs and killed one of his dogs. So uh, we are headed to the kill site right now. And then um, going to go ahead and possibly make a few sets. So not that these wolves are going to come back, but I think it's going to be a pretty good spot where this group of four, this pack of four is going to come through. So stay tuned. All right, we're coming uh to the kill site, so uh, this is where his dog got stripped at the tree. Most likely what happens is these hounds are so focused on the lion in the tree that they don't even see the wolves kind of coming in on them, you know? This is where they first What tree was the cat in? This one here. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh man, guys, look at this. Look at all the blood. Jesus. How long do you think she was up here? Um, it was probably uh, 25, 25, 30 minutes before I could. All right. But I last seen her before I could make it up to, to where she was treed. So somewhere in between, between that time, the the wolves had come in and got her. So. Yeah, how many how many hounds did you have up here? Uh, she's the only only one that made it all the way up to the tree. Had two other ones that came up. I think kind of knew what was going on and doubled right back on their track and came down to the road. All right. We had quite a few other dogs going and luckily at one time, but we we pulled them off to get up here to her and and uh, by that time it was too late. So. All right. How long have you had this hound? Um, she was five years old, so yeah. I had her since she was a pup. Jesus. Pretty much just in her prime, and uh, yeah, probably got hit, but not even knowing what happened to her. Right. You know? It was probably pretty quick, actually. Yeah, I would, I would, I'd hope so, too. Right, right. Yeah, for sure. But man, and you guys. I think they came in right over here. This is part of being in the big woods, you know? I don't know if that was your dog. Oh, that's old. So yeah, they uh, was finding out they came off of this road after they killed, uh, what was your dog's name? Penny. Yeah, after they killed Penny. And, um, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna go to uh, one, the spot where I caught that wolf the other day, and we're gonna take that wolf's ass, and then we're gonna use that to catch the other wolf. So anyways, uh, I'll show you what I'm gonna do when I get there, but um, yeah, man, this is just a, it's a damn shame is what it is. All right, you guys, we are um, where I caught that wolf the other day, and we're going to go ahead and do some uh, things to the set to go ahead and uh, hopefully get maybe one or two of these other wolves caught. So let's go ahead and get her done. All right, so um, we're going to go ahead and cut. I've already used some of the butthole, and so now this is about the first few inches of intestine off of that wolf that I caught which is one of the members of the the four the pack that killed his dog so so anyways we're going to go over here on this urine post and um, I don't like tracks in the snow so I'm going to shuffle over foot tracks and um, so anyways 
is going to be the attractor right there. I want to, might as well clean this off. We're supposed to get some snow here. And um, this, if you could really smell what's inside this bag, it's pretty bad. So I'm going to go ahead and put a really nice big piece of intestine right there. We're going to stick that right there. And then I got the foot pad off of that wolf also. And this is, I think it's a key ingredient to it. We're going to do a kickback right here. And I'll take that foot pad. This is a gland. I'll take that foot pad and scratch on that right there. And this is a good visual if it don't snow. And then you got the smell of his ass right there. So we'll call this wolf, um, if anybody's got the name, Ted. Sorry, Ted, but we're going to call this wolf Ted. And um, we're kind of smelling like Uncle Ted here. Let's go over to this other set and do the same thing. You notice I'm walking down my tire track. Walk in, do a foot shuffle. I really think wolves are really more visual in the snow than we give them credit for. You know, the, the snow tells the story. Just like for us, if we can see wolf tracks, we can count wolves and all that. I think wolves are doing the same thing. You know, maybe not counting humans or anything, but um, anyway, another piece of that intestine. Let's stick that right there. Kind of cover it up a little bit and let's do a kick back right here. Rub that pad, put that gland in the ground. Get a little over here. Gland in the ground, so. It's pretty sweet now. Um, I guarantee they're gonna go ahead and stop and check that out now. I would, I would almost bet the farm on it, so. All right, man, it's a shame about the dogs, about Penny, it's a damn shame, but uh, it's kind of a, uh, that's lion hunting in the big woods, you know, right? You yeah. betcha. But uh, anyways. All right, we're just having a discussion on um, um, how, you know, um, a guy mentioned, you just go ahead and tell it. Well, I had a conversation with a guy and, and it was, uh, oh, do you know, he didn't know that the wolves were there. Well, of course I didn't know the wolves were there. I wouldn't have let the dog out, right. you know, and, it, and you pick a, go ahead and pick a spot, Northwest Montana, where we are in wolf country, that you can say you're safe to turn a hound dog out. It's absolutely nowhere, you know. So, so what do you do? do? Do you quit hound hunting because of the wolves? You know, I mean, you, you got to still continue your passion. And and like you said, it's 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 a, it's just a matter of time. It's got it's something's gonna it's happen. It's not if, it's not when it's if. Right. I mean, it's not if it's when. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, it's but just you, after 11 years of having dogs, it's happened this time, and I've hunted the same country over and over and over again. It's it's something that. It's tragic, and, it, and you do your best to not let it happen. Run roads and make sure there ain't wolf sign. We covered miles of road that morning, and not a not a single fresh wolf sign to be seen. You know, they could have been bedded up or in between roads, or like you said, heard my hound treed and traveled, you know, some distance to get to her. So right, absolutely. You can only do your best, and and um, there's nowhere in this kind of country that you can consider yourself safe to turn a dog out and not right. not think that there's that chance every time you know? right so 11 years you had no instances this is your first time in 11 years first time getting a dog killed one other time it was close where they had come in and circled the tree right. but right but as far as um uh, instance where it killed come into the tree and killed my dog very first time right right so, so guys thanks for watching we're at 19,000. Um, and we're fixing to head 20,000 as soon as we hit 20,000. I'm gonna do that giveaway uh, Of the wolf skull I caught last year in the mountain man show. So that from the wolf I caught in the mountain man show. So Let's get it up to 20,000 and have that contest that giveaway and uh, I really truly appreciate you guys. Thanks a lot